During his tenure, Richardson worked on long-term investments in New Mexico's transportation, spearheading the Railrunner project and the spaceport. KOAT's Alyssa Munoz is live with more on the transportation initiatives Richardson developed for New Mexico. Alyssa. The Railrunner was a big transportation project to help commuters within the Belen and Santa Fe areas, and this is just one thing off of his list of accomplishments in office. He said, look, I want to do something that's into the, it's planning for the future of New Mexico, but at the same time, something that becomes of a benefit to the communities along the corridor. The city of Albuquerque's chief administrative officer, Lawrence Rael, says over the years, the rail runner not only helped commuters, but residents young and old to get around. Another plus, minimizing the carbon footprint in New Mexico. This is uh, an opportunity to, to get people out of their vehicles. And what's really interesting is in Santa Fe in particular, you see a lot of the businesses now in development start building around the stations. Richardson's economic vision for New Mexico included bringing the commercial spaceport to the state. Dr. Bill Gutman was director of aerospace operations at Spaceport America. He says a recent report shows the spaceport has made $138 million economic benefit to the state. You can't have the spaceport without spending some money, and you can't spending, spend the money without having some political support. No, there's no question it wouldn't exist, I don't think, if he had not been willing to step up to the plate and take a lot of heat over it to, to get it to happen. That vision coming full circle this year when Virgin Galactic announced monthly commercial space flights. These two projects will probably be the projects that most people will remember the former governor as being his legacy to New Mexico and his gift to all of us as citizens of this state and into the future. Richardson later served as an ambassador to the United Nations and Rael says out of all the flags, he kept the New Mexico flag in the middle because that's who he felt he was most proud of. Reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News.